This mine is less than 10 miles from the south rim of the Grand Canyon. It has sat idle since being built in the 1980s, never having extracted uranium ore. That is, until recently. The largest uranium producer in the United States is ramping up operations here. The market conditions are perfect. Prices have topped levels not seen in years, and world leaders are trying to make good on pledges to triple the capacity of nuclear power worldwide, all part of a hedge against climate change. Several countries have vowed to pour billions of dollars into projects and policy initiatives aimed at removing Russia from the uranium equation. That will ensure the ore's place as a key commodity for years to come. Producers say mining is different today than it was decades ago when the country was racing to build up its nuclear arsenal. Those efforts during World War II and the Cold War left a legacy of death, disease, and contamination in some places. The concerns expressed by environmentalists and the Havasupai tribe in Arizona have only become louder now that mining has commenced. The tribe's reservation encompasses part of the Grand Canyon. The Havasupai say mining at the foot of Red Butte stands to compromise one of the tribe's most sacred spots. This is just the latest battle over energy development and sacred land, as tribes in Nevada and Arizona also are fighting the federal government over the mining of lithium and the siding of renewable energy transmission lines. Legal challenges aimed at stopping the Pinon Plain mine repeatedly have been rejected by the courts. The mining company says its work must meet the highest standards. The company was awarded a contract in recent years to sell more than $18 million in uranium concentrates to the U.S. government to help establish the nation's strategic reserve. Susan Montoya Bryan, The Associated Press.